Hello, this is Peter Schmidt here, and today we're going to be looking at, what are we going to be looking at? <laughs> Good Lord. <laughs> this has been a second. Oh. Oliver Arnold's Chamber Evolutions, the newest thing on the block. Um, the thing that I've been so excited about, and the thing that I can't wait to show you. What it's all about. Um, but we're going to do this like we always do. And just go over, listen to the track. We'll kind of see how I used it. Use the uh, library and whatever. And the other things I used. And, uh, and I'll kind of give my give my little two cents and thoughts. And just kind of show you the library a little bit more. And without further ado, here we go.
All right. And that's the piece. So like we always do, we'll kind of just go through it and uh, yeah, start with the top. So as I love, um, and as I wanted to kind of stay with the Oliver Arnold sound, I used uh, mainly these these tracks, are all of Honor for Arnold's, and then uh, Oliver, Oliver Arnold's. His name is not easy to say fast, unless you've practiced. Um, or you're British, um, <laughs> which I am neither. And then I used some other libraries to fill in some of the gaps. Um, okay, so I used, so I first used uh, the felt piano, which is in his uh, toolkit. Let's see, let's see if I can pull it up. Pull it up for you. Which I've used, and I'm pretty sure I've showcased this before. Uh, maybe not. But yeah, it's... Uh, I used Mike's version. Not mixed. I usually do mixed, but this time I was kind of playing around with sound. Um, well, if, I can, if I do this every single time, it's gonna. this might take a while. So let's not do that. And then there's... So just really simple. I don't get into chorus to like about here. I'm gonna go really high with the, the strings. So of course that's what we're all here for, so. But it's just, piano just really pretty, really pretty. Love that little click there. And of course, standing. Um, and then uh, he also has in his toolkit is a glimba, which I thought was awesome. So, so of course, mixing that in and so stuff like that. Okay, so that's and then uh, also in his toolkit. I know his toolkit is huge. It's really really worth it. These are really pretty pads. Which I was really a big fan of. Something just to like warm up the sound. I mean not warm up, but actually cool down. Like create a really airy, spacey. Um, obviously you can't see that here, but uh, I had, I had them I added a stereo track, hard pan to the right and left, so it's very, very wide. Okay, and then, before we jump into the chamber stuff, I also picked up uh, Oliver Arnold's solo evolutions. And again, just pretty stuff. So of course this is, this is viola and a violin played in octaves in the subtle subtle realm of the evolutions <clears throat> and yeah so now finally we get to jump into the real stuff um So just the, the these um, I'll go ahead and jump in now. These chamber waves, um, or as the guys at Spitfire Audio call it, call it feathering. Um, but yeah, it's just man, just such beautiful, a beautiful instrument that just has such like I don't know. It's just it's just so pretty. Like I think when I uh, first played it, man, I was just like. And, and I'll, you know, I was trying to write this song like I had these chords beforehand. Um, trying to write something for for a play, which is what this song is actually for. Um, and I really love these. Oh, yeah, I am soloed. And so, uh, yeah.
Just <laughs> I I was like I was like smiling nonstop. It's just so soft and so pretty. Um, yeah, it's it's. I was like, oh my goodness, and then they have they have shorter stuff to do. And even shorter. And it's just ridiculous. Um, so of course that was kind of like my meat and potatoes. So and then you can like, uh, you can like, I wish I kind of kept that, but uh, basically you can layer, you can layer, so you just play it, play them like legato, like on top of each other and you can make a melee out of it and it, and it, it works. I mean, it's just really, like it's a really subtle, beautiful melody. I'm sure you can do a little bit faster than that. Um, I think I was using the half notes for the, for those, for most of it. I think that right there is a whole note. But yeah, see why they're called waves? They look like waves. Yeah, woo. Woo. Pretty stuff. Um, and then we jump into vibrato. So so these are waves that have vibrato on them, which is like, I was like, that's a really, that's, I like that. I like this idea. So just that subtle, subtle vibrato. And I was like, that'd be a good, like, melody piece. <laughs> and it turned out really pretty in the high up section. It's just, yeah, it's just, it just blew my mind. It's just so pretty. And then, then we have some tremolos. I was, I was like, oh, this is, this is cool. I'm loving this. It's just like, it just feels so genuinely raw. And the chamber aspect of it, I just like, not a whole lot of players playing. Yeah, just really, really pretty stuff. Um, we have bases, which mixed so well, like, 
I was really happy. I was like, dang, those mix so well. I mean, you expect them to, right? <laughs> but but you're just like, what? It's just so pretty. So, again, vases are pretty similar to this. Let me throw it up there for you, though. Replace, yes. I really want to replace. Thank you. And then we'll get into the grids. The only thing I don't think I used is uh, bases grids. I just didn't have a use for them. What's the... Highest chord you can play it, Neff. Yeah, that's lovely. Obviously meant for those, but it's still, still, still just gorgeous. I'll go ahead and throw out the waves now that we're jumping into them if you never used uh on up the waves oops sacred sacred um if you never used a grid they're really cool the evolution grid that uh, the guys at spitfire audio created it's basically these these long notes that just generally either they there's you know four sections they have um they have subtle thrills episodic and dissonances and basically the subtle you know they just no oh, i'll show you they just slowly change just ever so slightly so it's just is very let me see if i ever so slightly just breathe so it's just like hey holding on to a note but it just like does a little bit here and there has like it just feels so real see how they kind of like stop and start and all I'm doing there is holding down a note So there's like that little, just that little changes and those little imperfections that just make it just so like, ooh, that's pretty. Um, then they have thrills. <laughs> My family's being so loud in the background, but it's okay. So these are the thrills. Again, holding down a single note. Sorry, my throat is killing me. And just slight changes. giving that like that realistic but it's it's more of like a texture element uh, and the last one i used which of course you hear the most is the episodic one playing an octave so there's a low one and then high one yeah so i'll go ahead and show you it um show you what it's like Make sure this is turned all the way up, but. So you just play a chord. So let's say that, that chord. just gets a little bit of life um and of course they have like close mics and stuff like that of course they do they're spitfire audio 
So of course it's gonna be hella beautiful and really, really cool. Here's another. Here's a different subtle one. A little sharper. I'm gonna switch back to uh, yeah. Almost like wah. <laughs> That's really pretty. Here's another one. Really like that subtle, that subtleness. As an edge, so it like slowly grows, just gr just ever so slightly. And then we're, you know, it's getting into the harder stuff, like, not like alcohol. Computer does not like it because it's trying to record too. It's making it do so many things. That's so pretty. Ah. See stuff like this, it's just... Reminds me of like something like uh, Noah from um, James Newton Howard. Uh, is it called Noah? No, it's called... Oh, what's it called? Dang it. I have to look it up because I feel bad. The village. Like. <laughs> and then you just throw a solo on top of that and call it a day. That's really pretty. Stuff like that, man. Well, I like that low end, do you hear that? Oh, really pretty texture stuff. Texture stuff. This is the one I think I used. Really love that one. It's just really pretty. I like how it just sticks out. That'd be cool, like a... Uh... No, that's too nice sounding. Have you played like so many? Wrong note, but okay.
<laughs> Puts me on my teeth. And here's the, uh, the dissonances. And just like, just, just do a little something just to put the audience on edge. And then like put this underneath like a piano piece or something. That could be really cool. That could be really cool. Okay. I assume it gets more intense. Duh. I should throw like a piano piece over something. No, it looks like you can, uh, I have done nothing but use, you know, try to do like the most rawness out of this so far. I haven't dived into messing with any of this, but you can certainly have a blast. But this is like really raw, close. This is like recording level with their tubes. I mean tape and stuff. Something like that. That'd be neat. Okay. Yeah, and that's pretty much. I mean, I mean, that might be like a really fast look at Chamber Library, but yeah. Okay. So getting back into the piece, I saw <laughs> I saw this trick uh, from. Good guy Oliver at Spitfire Audio. I really like it. I'm just adding this Whitechapel noise from uh, Alien 1. Also Spitfire Audio, of course. Just love their stuff. It's so soft. And then we have my favorite, Tina Guo cello. I love... So much is crazy. I love I love when noise like adds so much to everything. Then we got the good old choir from uh, Metropolis Arc Two, which I love as well. It's like my other favorite libraries besides. They're, they're pretty far in there because I wanted to, you know, I didn't want it to be about the choir. And then we have Albion Five strings. Then Albion 5 wins. Playing this through morning. And then we have Albion 5 brass. And that is it. Sorry if I rambled a little bit, uh, but thanks for watching. Thanks for uh, tuning in. I'm going to try doing more more of these kind of videos. Um, I have some other songs that I would like to cover that I've done recently um, using a couple other new libraries. So 
stay tuned for that and uh catch you on the next one